learn in your early education about chemistry that there are two types of bonding and that's an oversimplification. There are lots of types of bonding. So if we drew a line, we could say that at one end of the line we have ionic bonding and at the other end we have covalent. But there's also something in between, which is not quite ionic, not quite covalent. Something that shares the properties of the two types of bonding. So we have some kind of intermediate. Okay, so instead of thinking about bonding as two distinct types, we should now think about bonding, ionic and covalent, as the extreme ends of a scale. Right, where you have ionic down that end and covalent up this end.